Awal, Shalom, Rastafari. Now we're gonna continue the discipline. The discipline. Okay, we went and we dealt with the anointing. Right? Why is the anointing so very important right there? That last portion. Hallelujah for it. Because it wasn't planned, but it was inspired. Right? It was inspired. All right. So, um, Melkam Fasiko Pesach. You understand the words? Happy uh, Passover in the West, in the, 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 the lunar. Let's call it the lunar Passover. Because the soul of the sun. We're still coming forward. 13 months of sunshine, Ethiopia. We'll start to touch on the Shema, right? The Shema, the word of witness. We want to continue with discipline. So before one says, well, I'm seeking to be a disciple or a disciple in the society of his majesty. So one will understand what disciple is and what discipline is. Hopefully this will be a short segment because then it'll be on Ethiopian World Net and I advise ones to go check out the longer segment, right, on disciple as well as um, discipline. The, the first part of it, we touched on certain other points. I think there's two vids that are a little bit over the time that we have on um, Ethiopian World Net channel, you know, under fire because of the truth, right? But just so that ones know, we're broadcasting on Rastafari Sabbatical, and let us just continue so we can, um, you know, redeem the time right here. Because thank you for watching. I know that one's time is precious. One has a, a lot of things that they try to do and get done, and and want to get some word of, of of strengthening, of upbuilding, right? But let's deal with discipline. So we've touched on the verse one, First Corinthians nine and twenty-seven, and not to go over that or regurgitate that again, although it's something that ones need to mutter on and meditate on. That means it's just regurgitate and go over it and really test the various understandings of it so that ones would have it rightly divide the word, right? Rightly divide the word of truth. Do the proper hermeneutic. And hermeneutic means the, the correct interpretation, right? What we would call the overstanding. So disciple means to train by instruction and control. There's a mile of control. Now, really, that control is really self-control, right? That self-control, that, that self-discipline in him and through him in that new birth, right? In that new birth, in that becoming as a child again and growing in the milk of the word, right, which helps to strengthen our bones, our structure, the basic principles like the Shema, like the word of witness, you know, like, like the weekly Shabbat and Torah portion, some of the basic getting familiar with the script and the text and the manuscript, you know, and not exercising themselves in things too hard for them, but praying for wisdom and not doubting that they are able to receive. Go over that anointing verse that we touched on um, previously in, in, in John, in, in First John, right? But let's go on with discipline here. And it says, according to this dictionary, show you a clip of this right here, this dictionary that we have sort of on loan. We're not, we're not selling this on the bookstore as of yet, but you can check out this one. This one seems particularly interesting. I just flipped it while perusing it and came to this page. I read Discipline, and I read it out loud, and I was like, wow, this is, this is I need to share this. So... Here we go. We're going to share on discipline. What is discipline? Discipline means to train by instruction. Instruction, structure, construction, as opposed vis-a-vis -vis to destruction. My people perish because of the lack of knowledge. So we have to get the right information, right, and take on that training and, and by way of instruction, learning his structure as well as control and discipline. 1 Corinthians 9.27. The biblical concept of discipline has both a positive side and it has a negative side, right? Those who refuse to submit to God's positive discipline, and we're going to touch on that, right, by obeying, right, his laws or Torah or Rit Malet will experience God's negative, Ha Elohim's negative discipline through his wrath and judgment. Through his wrath and judgment. Now, well, let's understand how this works, right? 
let's understand how this works for a moment. I don't know if we have this around right here, but let's see if we can go to this right here and um, all right, let's see if this 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 one right here will work. I know there's another marker that we have. Um, all right, we might use black. Let's see if we use black right here, getting in the black coming out of the red. All right, so um, discipline, right? This uh, right? Discipline, right? Discipline, right? Which is linked with becoming a disciple, right? Of His Majesty in Christ, in Yeshua, through the Word, right? It has a, it says the biblical concept of discipline has both a positive side. Now, what is the, what pertains to the positive side? So let's do this. Let's put over here um, plus, and let's put over here minus, right? Even though this applies to discipline, it can also apply to the disciple. But understanding and taking on the training and instruction and that self-control or regulation, if you will, right, brings you to the positive, hopefully, than to the negative. So the positive side, right, is instruction, knowledge, and training. So the positive side is instruction, my knowledge and training I is instruction knowledge and training one two three right instruction that's the positive side so if one is in the discipline saying I am a disciple I'm seeking to be a follow-up of the teaching of his majesty and to learn of his gospel and the gospel of grace, the true gospel of grace, right, the true faith, then one needs to be instructed, right, and the instruction, remember, is connected with the Bible, it's connected to study, studying the word, it's connected to the Shabbat, right, or the Sendbet, which means rest, and Yeshua is our Shabbat, right, he is our rest, but that does not that does not blot out the Sabbath rest. See, some people will say that. Well, then I could do that any time, and they just keep, they, they, you know, it doesn't make any sense. So they fall, they fail to um, submit to God's positive discipline by obeying. So the key right here is obeying. For the positive side, you can write right here, the key is obeying, which actually connects with the Shema. Right, because Shema means to hear, but if you study the root, you know, the Ethiopic, the Afro-Hebraic, right, you know, or the Afro-Shemitic, rather, you will find that it is to hear, to feel, to obey, that sense of Shema, where he says, they have not heard. They may have listened to it, but they didn't really hear it, really, he who feels it knows it. It didn't really affect their soul, their feeling, or their thoughts, right? So... They basically, by obeying his laws, or Torah, right? And remember, Yeshua is that living Torah, right? So learning of him, learning of Yeshua, learning of the word, right? And that helps us to recognize the revelation. But if not, right, they experience God's negative discipline through wrath and judgment. And we're not just talking about the last, the wrath of the Lamb, or we're not just talking about the judgment, the last judgment, but every day, as Rastafari say, every day is a judgment day. So it could be little ways you see if you are conscious of it, if you don't blind yourself or, or, or try not to look at it, you begin to see chant that you, you have reaped what you have sown. So even in that way, there is a sowing and reaping. It's called the law of sowing and reaping. Right? These are, you say, I don't believe in the law. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that. Right? Well, it doesn't really matter what you believe in that sense. It's like you don't believe in gravity, but if you jump off a roof or you jump off a place, so you're going to fall down. I don't think, I know you're not going to fly up. But especially not in that kind of hard headed condition, especially. But anyway, that's a whole other point right there. What is the negative discipline? What is, what is Jah's negative discipline? Jah's negative discipline is correction, punishment, and reproof. So it is correction, right, correction, then we have punishment, 
right? And then we have reproof. All right, we have reproof. Now, it's interesting looking at these three, right, looking at these three. So when we look at these three, and that's the section right there, then goes on to chasten and chastisement. It says to see chasten and chastisement. So let's just put this down on this particular side, below this. Let's put chasten, right, and chast, chastisement, right? Chasten, because when you're looking it up, you'll see chasten and chastisement in the scripture. So when you come across that, you can make a link with a negative, right, a negative discipline. So discipline, like even discipleship, but it begins with discipline, right? Discipline can be either, either of the positive sort, which is instruction, building up one structure, right, um, knowledge, knowing, right, and, and, and training, you know. Training is, is like work out your salvation. You practice, this, you know, learning but also practicing, right? Now, the negative side, right, the negative side, we can almost say disobey, right, disobey. That's where the original sin began with disobedience. They, they heard or Eve heard, which Eve you can see as a metaphor, right, for the soul, right? Eve basically is the, is, is the soul because she was the mother, the Imahiya, the mother of all living. Now, how interesting that is, as we study it in a little more detail, but that's connected to life. It's almost like when people say, man, life is effed up. Isn't that interesting if you look at it now, according to the Mishti, according to the mystery, right? Life is messed up, right? And, and you can almost say the mother, in a sense, has to do with it, but at a higher spiritual level, you can almost say these are almost two churches. It's almost like the virgin, right? And this is like the whore or going astray because if one is, it needs correction, that means they went away knowingly or unknowingly from the instruction, right? That means that if they are building, they are building um, not on the structure and not on the foundation, right? So they need correction, right? Now, if they play ignorant, you won't play ignorant, not knowing, let's say knowing the ledge or the true knowledge, that means get out of the I guess and I believe or or maybe, maybe, when you know what it, it is, his word. Now, you might not understand all the ins and outs of the word, but if you can't even admit that it's his word, you never will. You know what I'm saying? Let's just, or, you know, it is, it is theoretically so that you never will. If you can't admit the, the very obvious, you know what I'm saying? Pray for wisdom, right? And don't be double-minded. So if, you're, if you won't get into ignorance, they need punishment. This is why the law still exists. The Torah, our law still exists. Some Christians will try to act like we're no longer under the law and all of that. You understand? But remember, they haven't really studied and shown themselves approved and, 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 and they're on this disobedient side. They need correction because they're outside of even the basic biblical instruction. They need punishment because they're saying a lot of ignorant things, right, of the King of Kings, of Christ, of Yeshua. You know, of his humanity and, and his divinity. Uh, and, and training. The last is training. Now, training, you know, ones can preach, right? But if they don't practice, then that, that means there's something wrong with the training, which means there's probably something wrong with what they're knowing. That means there's probably something wrong with the correction, and therefore, on the negative side of Jah's discipline, there's room and need for correction, punishment, and reproof, which can also manifest as being chastened, the Bible just says, whoever he chastened, he still loves. So that is the good news right there, that even if he chastens us, he still loves us. Because every father that loves a child, that loves his child, chastens them. So our father, Batachin, also, if you find yourself on the correction, punishment, and reproof, being chastened and chastisement, you know, don't fret yourself. John loves you. Just... Just, just repent, right? Repent and repair, as we would say, um, come again. You understand? You know, get it, get it right. You know, correct it. You know, correct it. You can use the different words that you want, but basically it's repentance. It means to turn 
or wait, you're going the wrong direction. You went off on tangent. Come back to the way, the truth, and the life. Stay tuned. More to come.